All right, guys, so I had a uh, garage cleanup. Got all the cardboard up. Just got to get these bags. And as you can see, we got the cardboard here. A bunch of cardboard. I mean, a lot of cardboard. Got a wood panel as well. And some stuff on the back of the truck. But a lot of cardboard a lot of cardboard this 5 by 8 is completely filled with cardboard and we got some on the back of the truck i gotta get that squared away let's see if i can get these bags on the top and utilize my tarp and straps strap everything down uh, and i'll be on the way so let me get to it all right guys so got get a load off of here here uh, so it was a tarantula like spider here it's probably in this pile here but i need to pull up to get this swing gate open and uh we'll be on our merry way so let me get situated I'm likely not going to be able to record the whole thing because you know i i don't have anything to hold the camera so uh yeah to chat with you guys in the field. All right, got most most of the cardboard up out of here. Let's see, yeah, it's a beautiful thing about having this utility trailer. custom rail so I can you know I can stack stack stuff up as much as possible because I uh, when I first seen the job I, I thought that this job was uh, thought it was gonna be like a two load just based off of the uh, way that things look while it was in the garage Customer had this stuff stacked up pretty darn good. And I absolutely love how they, uh, you know, got the boxes folded down. Makes everything uh, easier on me. But yeah, I'll start to do more, uh, start to do more videos where um you know i'm actually showing you guys that i'm removing the stuff so let me hurry up because i gotta uh i got something else that's coming up that i gotta take care of get on the road I'm gonna, I'm gonna completely clean up this trailer get all the other stuff that's been sitting on this trailer so that way this thing will be uh you know ready and available i'm also going to throw this thing away um yeah it's it's a nice cooler but it was from a previous customer and Definitely not cleaning that up. Forget that. Forget that, Jack. You can clean it with bleach as long as you want to. But, uh, mm, something that you drink in that, you know, got molds like that. And, well, technically, any anything that you drink out of and, you know, you got like mold stuff in it. Uh, if you can't put it in the uh, dishwasher to fully, you know, clean. Yeah, those got a whole bunch of nails in it, so I definitely need it to back up. But um, yeah, it, yeah, I'm I'm very uh, particular on stuff that you drink from and got mold on. I'm like, nah, I can't rock with that. 
Can't rock with that. Even if I cleaned it, still can't rock with it. Jeez. Sorry about that. I had a bug fly straight to my uh, to my face. So yep, I'm almost done. Just to kind of show you. Almost done. So just in case anybody wants to know what happens to the stuff, uh, basically at the landfill, they'll uh, pack the stuff down. You see these mountains? Those mountains are a whole bunch of uh, dirt and stuff. That's, um, well, not dirt, but garbage. So basically what they'll do is they'll use the machine to pack it down in the ground. Uh, they'll place more dirt over it, pack it down again. Uh, it's hard to explain it while I'm trying to do something, but basically, um, after they reach a certain limit, they'll stop. Um, they'll close that section off. Uh, they'll plug up and like that. They'll like pipe, pipe, um, you know, do their setup for pipes and stuff. Uh, sorry, I'm not. I'm not really explaining right now because I'm trying to focus. But any, anyway, 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 anyway. The moral of the story is that uh, basically this garbage that you see here is going to be underground um, and it's going to decompose and as it de decompose the uh, gases from it it's going to uh, emit from the ground so that's going to be piped through a system which that system is going to convert that gas into energy for homes businesses and stuff like that so that's basically what happens this uh all this stuff eventually it will have its decomposed state and the fumes will be converted to gas the fumes is going to be converted to uh, energy so but let me uh get this off of here and then i gotta do my truck all right guys we are officially finished let's go ahead and get this thing off okay See, kind of use this to hold the tarp down. All, right. All this stuff is just gonna be flying in the wind. Yeah. All right, we're good. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. This, I'll probably put this inside. We're good to go. Inspect everything. Yeah, so I usually put that here. Boom. All right. That's that. It takes a minute to uh, unload the utility trailer compared to doing the dump trailer, the dump trailer. Woo easy utility trailer Woo. you talking about some time so well, mm -mm -mm. got a another tundra over there black tundra for utility trailer and a uh, ladder so that machine right there that's basically what compacts all of the garbage down to the ground that big machine right there all right so this pile of trash Everything that I see here is going to go inside of there. So I'm going to start off with the light stuff. And then I'll toss the rug over the top to hold stuff down and then tarp it down. So let me get started. This is the pile of trash. Almost fold up. 
Something told me to bring the dump trailer. Glad I did. And as you can see, majority of the stuff is clean. Just gotta grab this bad boy here. We'll be good to go. All right, so I'm gonna lift one side up and then lift the other side up and be good to go. I gotta uh, put the tarp over it so that way when I'm driving down the street, none of the stuff can blow off. So I'm gonna do that too, put the tarp down. Uh, yeah, I'll figure that out after I do this. Um, I, I, I love working for myself. I absolutely love working for myself. It's, I, can't, I really can't explain it to you guys. I love working for myself. Is that a football? That is a football. Hold on, guys. This is crazy. Uh, a football. Ugh. It was a, <laughs> it was a football in the middle of the street. So, so yeah. It's a football on the road. I picked up the football and threw it in the back of my truck so that way I can trash it. Um, again, yeah, this is the this is the neighborhood that I live in. So if I see something that you know that's a, like an eyesore or that's a safety concern, I'm, 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 I'm you know I'm, I'm going to take care of it. This customer has used me. Is it two times? No, I think it's three times. I'm oh, gosh. I honestly think it's three times. It's it's been such a busy day. I honestly want to say this customer's used me three times. Okay, then this is the third time within the following day. So this customer's definitely uh, it's definitely been using my service. Uh, I come over there and I, I get the job done. I take care of it within within thirty minutes to an hour. Really? What the? That was an old man in the in the middle of the road trying to save a couch with a cane. Oh my gosh! I really, I'm am not in the uh, position to stop because uh, I have people tailgate me. But I'm a loop around after I dump off this load and uh, you know see, just check check it out and see. Got to see how much this is going to cost because it's not free. It is not free to dump trash at the landfill for business, okay? Wow, this is the first time that I've actually seen a flame. I don't know if you guys can catch it, but it's a flame all the way in the back above that uh, building coming from a, uh, a chute. A big flame. All right. I gotta climb this mountain, so I'm gonna throw this bad boy in tow haul so we can keep those RPMs looking lovely. Yeah, right. Uh, well, you guys can't see it. Oh, there it goes. There's a flame. As you can see, we are officially here. We are in the line. Got a couple of vehicles ahead of me. This is the landfill. Baltimore County landfill. All right, guys, let's get this taken care of. We got all our garbage right there. Now I'm just gonna jack her up. Get all of this garbage out of here. It's got a little uh, nice critter up in there too. I think we got most of the stuff. Let's take a look real quick. This is nasty. Yuck, yeah. 
All right, I just gotta pull it down and all the stuff will come down. All right, we are empty. We're still recording. I didn't even know that. All right, I had to throw it in four wheel high. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he, he recognized me from uh, from the road. Because we were both sitting in that traffic and uh, we was trying to figure a way out and I, I found a way out and everybody had found me. Well, found the same way out too. Let's roll. <laughs> So yeah, most definitely don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber to this channel. And if you are interested in junk removal, I would definitely highly recommend that you pursue your dreams of starting your business and junk removal or whatever field that you desire to be in. Again, the market may seem saturated, but guess what? They don't have you. So that's going to be the difference. It's going to be you, your customer service, your personality, uh, your service uh, in general is, is going to be different from your competitor. So stick to the plan. Remain persistent in what you do. Uh, if you continue to do it, eventually it will pay off.